Good morning, my name is Colette Broomhead and I am here for the third day in a row going live um, here on my page and I'm also going to be um, sharing this over to my free Facebook group business class so I shall quickly do that now. Um, let's just find my live. Um, if you don't already know who I am, um, as I say, my name's Colette and I'm a startup strategist, which um, basically I work with new online business owners um, and people who are struggling to make consistent income with their business. Um, and I help them to find a strategy that works for them, um, that allows them to feel free in their business and not trapped because most of us have started a business because of that very thing, we want freedom, um, freedom of time, freedom of location, um, freedom of income, freedom of creativity, um, all of that stuff. Um, pretty much every business owner that I speak to has started their business because they want at least one, um, if not more, or all of those things. Um, and so it always comes back down to freedom. Um, but what happens all too often is that our business feels anything but free. We go into it with these kind of rose tinted glasses um, thinking that um, we, you know, we're going to have all this, all this amazing freedom um, and um, very quickly we suddenly find ourselves um, working longer hours than we've ever worked before, um, struggling to have any kind of impact, struggling to make any kind of money um, and actually being you know more trapped than ever um, and so I help people to try and get out of that and to find that freedom um, to start earning consistent income in a way that feels free in a way that feels light um, that isn't going to require you to work all the hours um, to continue to miss time with your family um, and to feel trapped in your own business um, so this week let me pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm, I'm rubbish at multitasking when it comes to these things. <laughs> um, so, okay, let's share that over. Okay, so. All this week, if you haven't already seen any of my lives this week, um, I have been going live to chat each day about a different symptom, shall we say, um, of um, not planning properly and not having a clear strategy in your business. So on Monday, um, I was chatting um, all about, what was I chatting about Monday? Always starting projects and never seeing them through to completion. Um, all of these are things which I have done myself and um, this is why I'm talking about them because I understand um, why they happen. I've been through them myself, um, but I've now come out the other end. And so now it's my mission to try and drag as many people out to the other end with me um, because it's much nicer over here. Um, so um, Monday's Facebook Live was all about, yeah, if you are one of those people who are always getting carried away with new ideas um, and kind of dropping what you're working on to start something new, but never actually um, seeing anything through to completion, um, then if you haven't already, go check out Monday's Live. Um, you can find it um, on my page and in Business Class, my Facebook group. So wherever you are, you'll, you should be able to find it. Um, and if you can't, tag me, let me know, and I will um, pop you the link. Yesterday, I was chatting about creating content for content's sake. And this is um, a big one. This is so many people are doing this because we all know we need to be creating content. We need to be showing up online on social media. We should be blogging, doing videos, doing podcasts, this, that and the other. And we get into this cycle of um, knowing that we need to be posting content. And so just posting fluff basically, but without purpose, without strategy, um, as a tick box exercise, because we know we should be doing it, but we haven't had the proper time to really think about why we're posting that content, what we want that content to achieve for our audience, or what we want that content to achieve for our business. Um, so that was yesterday's Facebook Live. So if you missed that one, and you're, you're kind of watching this thinking, yeah, that sounds like me. Um, 
go back and watch that one. Um, it's a good one. And today, today I am talking about disappearing. Um, people who do those kind of random disappearing acts online, now they're there, we're one, one second they're there, they're you know in their Facebook group, they're active, they're posting daily, they're doing Facebook Lives, they're perhaps emailing you with their blog posts, and then poof, with no warning, they disappear. Now this might also be you. Um, I think most people have experienced um, or done <laughs> the disappearing act at some point in their in their business um, career. Um, it doesn't feel good. Um, and um, so I'm here to talk to you about why it's happening and what you can do to stop it happening. Um, because um, let's face it, it doesn't look great um, from an audience perspective. Um, the you know the attention span online is very short um, and if you disappear for any length of time you are going to lose followers you're going to lose your audience you're going to certainly lose the momentum that you've built by um, any consistency that you've managed before that disappearing act happens so we want to try and cut this out um, of your business because it's not doing you any favors and um, the longer it continues um, the kind of the easier it is for you to stay vanished, and that's a dangerous thing. Um, so let's just, let's sort of talk about that that kind of scenario of disappearing. You know, you started out with the best intentions. Um, you know, I'm going to post, I'm going to blog every week. Um, I've got my Facebook page, so I'm going to be in there every day. I've started, perhaps I've started a Facebook group, and I've got my Instagram account. I'm going to be showing up. I'm going to be engaging with people, and you've got all these wonderful intentions. Um, you know, you've perhaps done a course or you've read a book, and it's filled you with passion and excitement and motivation. And you are, you know, this is it. This is going to be the turning point. You know what you need to do now. Um, and it's you know it's showing up in all of these places. It's creating all of this great content. And if you keep doing that, you know you're going to be golden. And then a week down the line, maybe two weeks down the line, maybe a month, maybe two, something happens and you miss a day. Um, perhaps something you know in your personal life um, means that you weren't able to post. Um, for me, it's often the school holidays um, and suddenly your house is filled with your children and you have much less time than you <laughs> do normally. And so you miss you miss some posts um, and then, you know, nothing too bad happens. And so you think, oh, well, it's OK if I miss your day. And so you miss a few more. And then before you know it, um, you've perhaps not posted on your blog for a month and then two and your Facebook page, you check that and you think, oh, wow, I've not posted on there for a week. And gradually you disappear. And um, it may not be for long. It may, you know, it may only be for a week or it may be for longer. But either way, it's not doing you any favors. It's damaging to your business and it's a bad habit to get into. Um, and it's a bad story to tell yourself that it's OK and that it's not going to do you any harm and that you know, everything will be okay. Um, you'll get yourself organized and you'll be back on track. Um, yes, you may well get yourself organized and yes, you may well get yourself back on track, but better not to have to do that in the first place, okay? Um, always checking my notes to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, another reason um, for um, perhaps um, missing you know, get getting out of the uh, out of the kind of content creation routine. It isn't necessarily um, just because you know something happens in your life to stop you posting, or you you know you um, don't get around to it. Sometimes it can actually be because you just don't know what to post. It can be more of a kind of writer's block, if you like, or a creativity block. Um, and this can happen because you've actually got really good intentions. So going back to yesterday's. Um, at Facebook Live, where I was talking about the danger of creating content for the sake of, you know, posting content for content's sake. Um, actually, you could be not posting because you don't want to do that. You only want to post when you have something valuable to say. And so you stop posting until, you know, something strikes you, you know, till you, till you get some inspiration on, on, you know, what might be valuable. Um, and that's, that can be quite a, um, <laughs> You can easily convince yourself that that's a good reason to stop posting um, and to stop showing up and to stop being consistent. 
And to a certain extent it is, but it's also not an excuse. Yes, you should be posting stuff that's valuable and you shouldn't be posting fluff and you shouldn't be posting content for content's sake, but you should also be posting consistently. Um, so um, if you are struggling to know what to post and you are facing that kind of creativity block, um, then there are things that you can do about it. And it's that issue that you want to be addressing. And just not posting and not showing up isn't addressing that issue. It's kind of papering over it um, and, you know, solving one problem with a different problem. And that's not helping you. So um, if you are struggling, struggling with kind of the inspiration, knowing what to say, um, then address that full on. Don't kind of paper over it by just kind of going, well, I just won't post until... Um, until inspiration strikes, because that can be a very long time. And actually, once you get out of the habit of creating content, um, it's much harder to do. If you're creating content, um, like anything, it's a, it's kind of like a muscle, um, and, and writing or creating content of any kind um, is easier the more you do it. And if you're doing it consistently on a regular basis, um, then it feels much easier. And the second you stop and you break from that, like exercise if you go back to exercise after a long break it feels hard um, and the same is true of, of, of writing of creating content so actually you're not solving the problem if you're kind of saying I'm not going to create content until inspiration strikes um, you, you're getting yourself into a vicious cycle because it's just going to get harder and harder and harder so keep at it keep creating content um, and the way you can make sure that you are not creating content for content's sake, but that you are um, remaining consistent with that content creation um, is by doing a few things. And you will, if you have been watching my Facebook lives every day this week, you are going to start noticing a theme. Um, because every time it's the same things um, that you are missing and the same things that you can do um, to stop this happening. So number one, you can do less. Um, oftentimes, um, one of the reasons for disappearing is because you are overwhelmed and you have given yourself too much to do. You've given yourself like an impossible task of maintaining um, the levels of content that you have set yourself. So number one, look at the amount that you are trying to achieve and ask yourself, really, does it need to be this much? Um, you know, social media channels, you don't need to be on them all. You don't need to be um, posting on all of the social media channels all the time. Focus on growing one, maybe two tops to start with. Um, and then, you know, as you as your business grows, um, as perhaps your team grows, you can then extend your reach um, to the other ones. So I use pretty much all the social media channels to promote my content. Um, but I do that in an automated way. So I use a service called CoSchedule um, and it takes me perhaps 10 minutes. Whenever I write a blog post, um, I have um, a template set up um, with um, because I've integrated CoSchedule into my WordPress account and I can literally go bang, bang, bang. Um, these are the posts um, that I want to um, go out on LinkedIn, on Pinterest, on Twitter, on Facebook. And, um, and I have them scheduled out um, at various points over the course of a whole month so that in about 10 minutes um, I can make sure that I am promoting that post consistently um, for a whole month after I've published it but I don't have to think about it ever again once I've hit publish um, and that whole process like I say takes me about 10 minutes so that's not really what I'm talking about here um, and if you want to know how I do that by the way um, let me know um, because I have a post um, that I've written I've actually created um, a video where I take you through step by step how I do that um, so um, if that's something that you're interested in then let me know and I will make sure I pop the link to that um, here um, so that's not really what I'm talking about here the type of content that I'm talking about is where you are showing up personally and you're kind of posting um, you're not just promoting your other posts but you're actually providing value within the post itself um, or your blogging or your podcasting and all that kind of stuff so if you are doing too much of that if you are trying to do that on Twitter on, on Instagram on Facebook on Pinterest you know um, then scale it back in you're doing too much if you're trying to blog and podcast and do videos that's too much 
scale it back in, choose one and focus on growing that. And what you will see is you will be less overwhelmed. You will have more time to plan, to be strategic, to create valuable content, um, to give yourself time for that creativity to come back. Um, and you will be able to be consistent and you will see those results coming in. You will see growth much, much faster. Um, so do less is, is number one. Number two is plan. Um, and I feel like I, I am a bit of a um, stuck record with this. But again, it's a vicious cycle. If, you, if you're kind of doing too much, too much, too much, and you kind of think, I don't have time to plan, I don't, and so you're always doing things off the cuff. You're always doing things, you know, day to day, trying to think, oh, I haven't posted on Instagram today. I need to quickly think, what am I going to post on Instagram today? And so you, you, you know, stick up a random quote or something. And, um, or, you know, I haven't written a blog post. What can I write about? And so you just write out any old fluff. Um, and you're constantly kind of catching up with yourself. You're constantly in this kind of panic mode. And of course, that isn't an ideal um, environment for you to be creative, for you to be consistent and for you to not feel completely overwhelmed. Um, so plan, plan, plan. Give yourself plenty of time to plan ahead and set yourself up for success. And that's what planning allows you to do. So, for example, if you're planning, um, what you can do is plan to batch some of your content. Um, so this is something that I do with my blog posts where I will, um, you know, um, in the last week of every month, I will write um, four blog posts for the following month and then they're done. Um, and all I have to do is put them out there. Um, now, that may not be your thing, but if it is, you can do it if you plan to do it. If you don't plan to do it, it's never going to happen. You have to plan these things in. You have to think about how you're going to do it and how you're going to fit it in and when you're going to do it and schedule it in advance because if you don't do that, it won't happen. So give yourself the time. Give yourself the space to step back and plan out your time. Um, now, um, I have a 12-week planning system, um, which I teach inside my Membership Your Business Lounge. Um, if that's something that you're interested in learning, um, then I'd happily um, share a bit more about that with you or um, obviously share the details of how you can get the full thing um, inside the lounge. So um, let, let me know if you'd be interested in that. I'll also be talking a bit about that in my workshop um, that um, I'm doing next week, but I shall tell you more about that at the end of this. Um, so, and then the final thing is strategy. Um, so, um, before you plan, you need to actually have a strategy. So, essentially, um, your strategy is, um, I want to, um, you know, I'm at point A, I want to get to point B, and this is how I'm going to do it. Okay, that's your strategy. And then your plan is then breaking that down into kind of actionable, bite-size um, pieces. So, um, for example, this month, I am running a free workshop. My point A is I have a membership. And my point B is I want to get some more members into my member uh, into my membership. And um, I'm going to do that by um, doing a free live training and then um, offering um, the membership to those who attend um, and showing them um, the value that that can give them and helping them with the, with the thing that they're struggling with. OK, so that is my strategy. And then my plan is all the stuff that goes into doing that. So um, I need to plan out that I'm going to have to create my workshop slides. I need to plan out that I need to create some emails. I need to create a registration page so people can sign up for it um, and so on and so forth. And if I don't do all that, then it won't get done. And um, my strategy isn't going to happen. And um, so what you, you can't really have one without the other. So you need you need a strategy because otherwise, what is it you're planning? Your plan's just going to be all kind of random bits and bobs with no purpose, no goal, no direction. Um, and then you need a plan to help you actually achieve your strategy. So I hope that makes sense. Um, like I say, I'm going to be talking all about this in the workshop. Um, now, the workshop is essentially I'll, I'll break down what, what I'm going to be chatting about. So. Um, the workshop is for anyone who has an online business and who is struggling to make consistent income, um, who is working and working and working and couldn't really work more, doesn't understand, you don't understand why you're not getting results, you don't understand why you're not growing. 
um, then this is for you. I'm going to share um, three mistakes um, that you could be making um, in your business. I'm going to be sharing the reason why these strategies that you're trying aren't working. And I'm going to share um, a four step framework that I've created for my own business that has allowed me to massively scale back what I'm doing. Um, because I was in your shoes, I was doing all of this stuff, I was working all the hours, I was feeling completely trapped, I wasn't growing, I wasn't having the impact I wanted, I was massively frustrated, I was constantly trying new strategies, I was doing videos, I was doing this, that, and the other. And it just wasn't working. Nothing was kind of clicking or gelling. And I didn't understand why. So I took a step back. Um, I really looked at my business and I changed how I worked. Um, and I managed to um, change everything, really. <laughs> um, and so this is the framework that I want to share. Um, it's a four step framework and it allows you to cut back so much on what you're actually doing. So you're less busy, you can work less, but you can grow faster. Um, and you can get to that point of replacing your income faster. Um, so um, if that is something that you would be interesting in learning more about, um, then do come and join me. I have put the link um, to uh, register for the workshop in the description of this Facebook Live. Um, just click on that link and you'll go through to a sign up page. Um, you just need to pop your name, your email address on there, and then I will email you the details um, of how to join the workshop. Um, I'd love to see you there. I'm super excited about sharing all of this good stuff. It's had such a massive impact in my own business, um, and I know it's going to in yours too. So do come and join me. If you have any questions, give me a shout. And I will see you again tomorrow where I will be chatting about um, measuring um, and metrics and how um, if you're not measuring um, enough in your business, then um, that's going to be causing you problems too. And when I say enough, I don't mean that you, you need to be, you know, have pages and pages of metrics that you need to be tracking. You absolutely don't. You don't need to be enough was probably the wrong word you don't need to be measuring a huge amount but a you need to be measuring something and um, not everyone is and b you need to be measuring the right things and not everyone is um, so to learn more about that come and join me back here on my page or in my group tomorrow and i will see you then have a great day